In this video, I'm going to cover a word that gets thrown around in the health and wellness industry a lot, and that word is antioxidants. Now, I might hear people say things like cranberries, green tea, or blueberries have a lot of antioxidants. Now, that may be a true statement, but not a lot of people know what that really means, or how antioxidants are measured, or what they do. An antioxidant is a substance that slows down the aging process, or oxidation process. So for example, when you slice into an avocado, and you leave it out for 5 or 10 minutes, it starts to turn brown. That's because it's oxidizing and it's aging. Now antioxidants, they work in our bodies by fighting free radicals in our body. Now what are free radicals? They're just the byproducts of our everyday environment. Now for example, the processed food that we eat, the air we breathe, any emotional stress or physical stress when we exercise, that produces free radicals in our body. Now free radicals, what they do is that they're just electrons looking to pair up to another electron in our body. Now when that happens, it causes a lot of damage to our DNA and our cells, and that's not good for the body. This is called an ORP meter, and what that stands for is Oxidation Reduction Potential. Now what that measures is how oxidizing a substance is, or how antioxidizing a substance is. So when you're measuring a substance and it's on the positive scale, that means it's an oxidizing substance. When measuring a substance and it's on the negative scale, that means it's antioxidizing. So the further on the positive scale, that means it's more oxidizing, and the further negative it is, it's more antioxidizing. So here we have some common beverages that we consume and what we're going to do is show the ORP levels of each and that's going to tell us whether it's an oxidizing substance or an antioxidizing substance. As you guys can see, the Smart Water, Fiji Water, and Gatorade all had positive numbers, which mean that they're an oxidizing substance. So for all my gym goers out there, or anybody that does any sort of physical activity, martial arts, anything like that, think about the next time you decide to drink Gatorade. So we all already know from our last video about the pH that Gatorade has a fairly acidic pH. Now that we know that it's an oxidizing substance, that combo right there is the last thing you want to put inside your body. After you work out or do any sort of physical activity, you want something that's alkalizing and antioxidizing because their body is in an acidic state after doing all that strenuous activity. We as humans, we're under constant stress every single day, whether it's at work, at the gym, when we're under any emotional stress or anything along those lines. And that's going to produce free radicals in our body, it's going to put our body in an acidic state, and we really need to do something and consume things that's going to counteract the production of the free radicals. With all that being said, just be very cautious about what you decide to consume and put inside your body. And really think about if it's going to be beneficial or harmful to you in the end. 